Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, Wooden Only, and today we're going to be playing Epic 7. Well, I'm more going to be talking about Epic 7. And my first impressions I went through on my stream instead of uploading like a literally like a three hour and 30 minute stream of my first impression. I don't know if you guys would want that. Uh, I will put that up if you guys want that instead as well. Or I'll just put up both of these. If That's only if you guys would, you know, wouldn't mind that. You can, you can probably think of it like a little stream. But the first impressions that I went into eh, weren't good because I was just <laughs> trying to finish fix Nox to where it would be able to play it. This game does not like emulators. It is not emulator friendly. While I'm doing this, we might as well do some missions and show off some gameplay. For those of you guys who have not played and just found my channel by chance, Buzz. Yeah, we. This game is definitely not friendly to emulator users. Phone users, you guys are just fine. Emulator users have it like way, way harder. For also for me, the story isn't too interesting for me, but I'm really hoping, or maybe you guys can confirm this. I'm really hoping that the game does have like a story revisit. So I can go back to each stage and, you know, revisit the story. Just in case I ever just want to, you know, force read my... Through it. So if it does have that, let me know where it is. If it doesn't, uh, devs, can you please add that in? So I can go back through, like, story and catch up, if anything. But for now, the story really doesn't interest me too much. Oh, oh hmm. This is also another character that I actually really liked. But anywho, as you can see, my summons were went very well. But I want you guys to know that I did not re-roll. These two were just by luck. And I will show you guys those um, summons afterwards. Well, in the middle somewhere. But my rolls were freaking something else. Command me. I was just taking chances and skipping characters in the select in the selective summons. Which I might add is Radiant light. very sad that we can only pick one Shall I let you dream out of all those summons, things? but you know, I would have enjoyed picking Alter, at least you two, you know? <laughs> but then that would have just been me being too greedy. I need to replace these two, by the way. But going into it, I, I was like, eh, I'm kind of feeling it. And after a while, probably like around three hours, I was enjoying it. But the thing is, I kind of feel like the game was a little bit overhyped. <laughs> but it's still good, nonetheless. Very fun to play. And I can highly recommend. I just think it was a tad overhyped. And if you guys are seeing the score that is on... Google Play, that score be afraid. is basically from them um, releasing the game to download and people didn't understand what was going on. For those of you guys who are on a Google Play store and didn't know what was going on during, like, you know, the install time, it was going through pretty much maintenance. It was, well, not maintenance. It was getting ready to launch they just let you download early there was no need to just bomb the hell out of it unfortunately but hey it is what it is just letting you guys know that that score is pretty much not not real <laughs> not an actual score I, I, to be honest i don't think they should have done that just because we still would have had the patch either way it goes I'll send you I mean, it's not like the download was like huge because we had the patches Oh god, um, why would you take out my hills? Rude. But, yeah, we still went out to patch it as soon as the game went up. So there was really no need for it to be um, released for download early. Just saying. And it's pretty much a whole gig after you um, download anyway. Can you stop it? With that BS you got going on. 
You know my Ravi needs those like. heals, and you're being a big bully about it. Prepare yourselves. But yeah, it took me a while to understand the gameplay. And it, if I show you guys this um, summon video, I just want it to be known that I thought combat readiness was combat read at first. I, for <laughs> it went that way through the whole stream, to be honest. I don't know why. I read it as combat read, and I thought it was evasion. <laughs> I was laughing so hard after the whole stream. <laughs> Once I realized what the hell it was, I was just like, how did I re read it as that? Dude, I, I was like literally crying. But yeah, <laughs> if you guys want to know why I didn't play it on, well, play it first for YouTube, it's because I'm making this game a streaming game. Yeah, this is going to be added to my streaming list as one of my main games. But I will still be playing a lot more other games on the stream now and then too. And I'll send you all away. right now, me. Warframe finally has a uh, Fortuga. Mercedes, preparation or Fortuna. Complete. Fortuga. Fortuna out. <laughs> and I'll be doing that now and then. Just because that update is freaking addictive it's insane how good the new world is don't be afraid especially with all the hoverboards and everything i would definitely show you guys like first impressions of that i'll probably upload like an hour of the stream or something or probably like two hours or so really depends on how you guys feel about the epic seven stream being uploaded i'll take you on Command me. But it was actually pretty fun. But I also learned what combat readiness is. It's basically where if radiant light. Wherever you are right here, you're basically going down. Don't think of going up, your character's going up. You're going down. And whoever reaches the bottom is the next turn. Each time you get combat readiness. Your character goes down basically a little bit at a time. Think of it basically as speed. Come to me. It's my turn. Shall I let you dream and I barely ever use Robbie's uh three just because I want to stack up damage. So pretty much everybody power. told me that I had Well I I'll just show you guys uh in the light's name. Right what? about well, I'll, I'll show you after this fight of my summons and get that out of the way. Then I'll talk more about what went on. Gonna skip here. Oh, yeah, I do have a guild going, but uh, we're kind of full right now. Like, it fooled up within like a few days. Mercedes, preparation complete. Obey me. I am invincible. Ow, ow. Also, this get this game loves to lag during skills. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think it's really my PC, but I could be wrong. Shall I let you dream endlessly? Can you endure? Rude. I'll take you on. Good. Command me. Ha! Radiant light. All right. So we done this. Let me go ahead and show you guys my summons. I will definitely be taking them out of my uh, stream. Oh, yeah, that sells a little mouse. Ah. He's so adorable. Oh, God, you're going to make me do things. Hold on, guys. Sanctuary. The place where all the magic happens. Uh, 
There's also something else I want to show new players, but we'll do that after the whole summon thing. So pretty much like manual, well, no, auto level stages. We can send your characters on a quest and have to come back with XP. That's understandable. Ah, so that's what it is. Reward bonuses. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Where is she? There she is. Just sending you just in case a little bit. Um, let's send you too. I didn't even know I had you. What the hell? Um, I don't know who else I want to send, to be honest. It's not like we get loot out of it. <laughs> hey, oh, level 10. Oh, well, I can't do that then. Feels bad. I'll do it next time. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the summon video. Here we go. Hey, uh, hey, nah. May new beginnings become your strength. Nani the fuck? What can you do? Have a chance to decrease um, hit chance? Oh, you're basically better than the other one we got. We got a passive here. Chance to dispel debuffs. Right, at the beginning of the turn. Oh, gain continuous heal and attack speed. Okay, not have that. To be honest, I doubt I will. But whatever I get, I'll work with. What the hell? Artifact skill, huh? Not bad. Next. Better artifact? I got the same one. Oh, it's 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 the other one. I like her better. She looks way cuter here. Okay, what does this one do? Heals all allies. Oh my god. Um. I'm keeping her. Cast a skill that has a 80% chance to unheal. And decrease attack. That's actually not bad too for debuff. Increases extra damage if souls. Attacks absorbs life. And heals all allies. When enemy is defeated, can revive on an ally with the lowest HP. Oh, so they. Okay, that's actually not bad. Yeah, we're just gonna chill and take our time. Poison damage on her one. Okay. Two turns as well. Can I build multi-attack? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's 
Zero. Extends the debuff duration. That's actually not half bad. Ignores um, resist. Strengthen the caster's next turn. Increases chance of poison. Okay, yeah, she's not half bad. I like that. She can stack up to three poisons and extended by two turns. That's actually not half bad at all. I like that. Oh. Oh. That's a four star. Yeah, I guess. Oh, it's an artifact. What is this? Has a 15 chance to attack again with the base. Oh, okay, that's actually... I like that. Mine. What's this? Another artifact? Decreases defense upon one single attack. Yeah, that could be good. Attack and attack speed. Well, attack and speed increase if the HP is below 50%. Not bad. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay, a new artifact. Okay. Let's see. Tempest chance to counterattack when the allies. Oh, that could actually be good on some characters that. Hmm. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, what's this? Cooldown chance increase when attacked. Can only activate one per turn. That could be decent. Up. Oh god, does this actually just count as one? Hold on a second. Is it like one every summon, or is it just like one through all 30? Oh, that sucks, man. That would have been nice to have. Feels bad. Feels bad. It sucks because I like these two. Honestly do. Eh, how oh well, we'll get rid of them. We'll keep those in mind whenever they pop up. She looks interesting. Chris Drag gains another attack. Okay, that's not that bad. Inflicts two poison effects for two turns and increases the 
caster's combat readiness. So I'm guessing dodge rate. That's what I'm guessing. Probably dodge rate. You'd be fine. You have nothing better else. You have nothing else better to do. But to sit here and chill. Besides, you're re-rolling. You have no room to talk. <laughs> I like to look at everything the game has to offer, okay? Okay, you got, you got the time out, alright? This is my time, not your time. <laughs> That's a 25% chance to dispel one debuff when attacked. I mean, that doesn't help when a debuff, well, when a buff already, you know, hurts you. But, you know. Eh. The hell is this thing? Oh, hell no. Nah. Even though he looks pretty cool, he looks epic as fuck in here. Because I love the helmet. Right here, he just looks really cartoonish and weird. And very weird for everybody else. She has to dispel two buffs. That's actually not how bad. So he can't get one-shotted, basically. Another artifact? Oh, it's anchor again. Nobody wants to anchor. Another artifact. Oh, what's this? Grill of blood. Hmm, looks looks so delicious. Depending on the like, attacker's attack at the start of the turn. Effect increases when you're below. Okay, that's actually really good for the sustaining. Oh, that sucks. Still didn't get anything good. Oh, seems like that is another one down the drain. Next. Show me your secret book. What do you have? Oh, we got a hero. Who is it? Doggo. How you doing, doggo? There's a chance to lower speed. Attack is based on the caster speed. Decreases defense. Attack is based off the caster speed. Increases speed and readiness. So, basically evasion. I have no idea what you just said. Because I don't speak Korean. <laughs> oh, I'm not rerolling. Shadow is the one who's trying to reroll. No, no. <laughs> yeah, not bad of a character, but we're gonna keep going. It's actually pretty cool that they did this for everybody, though. Especially coming into the game. The hell? When the HP is like 50%, though. Nope. Nobody wants that crap.
Or that. Number three star, I was oh nope, not at her. Not again. Nope. Ah, oh, and she popped up again. Next summon. Oh. Four star? What is it? When each turn ends, effects cannot be. Oh, effect is removed after attacking. Another four star? Oh, it's that again. Oh, five star. What is it? It's another artifact. What is the artifact? Okay, this one's a little bit different. Increase HP recovered on all allies. Does not overlap for the artifacts with the same effect. Nah. We can tell what it's gonna be, to be honest. <laughs> Stun, evasion, attack all, and silence. Or increase it. Oh, no. When it says ceiling spell, I just think silence. Wait, what the hell was that? Joker? Nah, we're good. Don't want to make an accident tap something just to see what it does. Oh, that's what it does. Oh, got a four star artifact. What is it? We're just going to get the same thing again. Give me a new one. I want to see what the artifacts are. Okay, thank you. Dual damage chance. Damage increased by 30 when it's not the caster's turn. Rangers, though. Ah. Four star hero, finally. Hey, okay, what do you do? Increases defense. Becomes enraged for three turns. Enemies. Goodbye. Um, lesson. Wait, so. Okay, harsh lesson. Oh, uh, enemies take extra damage. Causes bleeding. And we're enraged. Uh, spells increase and additional flea damage is stacked. Now I'm good. Recover its own HP portion to max HP. That's actually not bad. Provokes and unable to receive buffs. Attack speed. Next. Up. Oh, we have a hero. Five star hero. Who is it? Oh. Who the hell is this guy? Chance to cast poison up to two turns. Hmm. To be honest, since I'm not re rolling, I'll keep it in mind. Depending on a number of debuffs. Okay, that's not half bad. Especially if I was to work with a debuff team. Oh, 
Okay, he's not that bad for a PvP team, especially for his um, three. 50% chance to lower speed and defense and make them unhealable. I'll keep it in mind. What will happen if I click it? Okay, just checking. Meh. I might still keep him in mind. Even if he is bad. Okay, what can he be useful for? Stacking poison isn't half bad. Especially since poison is really dangerous in the game. From what I've seen. Two. Summoning darkness cloud that does portion of damage to base on debuffs. I could stack those pretty easily. Especially since he has this. Huh. Eh, we'll keep going. To be honest, I don't really care. Whatever... If we get to... Uh, 30 summons and I get something terrible, I'll just work with it. Hmm. My, my. This... This artifact. Hmm. Extra... Anywho, finish rate, defense, and... Oh, not that bad. Hey, if I don't, I don't. I'll work with three stars. Talk about a guy who works his way from three stars to fucking five within like a few days. Oh, she looks pretty cool too. What does she do? Resorts some damage as HP, so basically vampire. Decreases movement speed and attack speed increase. Dispel all buffs and increase. Oh, I was about to say. Hold up, that that's not how that should work. Oh, another hero. See, channel you over here, Jinky. What is it though? Oh, she looks cool. New swords increase the attacker's. Oh, increase the attack of the caster for two turns if the enemy's HP is lowered than 50%. Or defense. Oh, it's more than 50%. Decrease defense if it is lower. Stuns on ground of all enemies and has a chance to stun. The caster's weakness is increased for each care for each enemy that is stunned. Wait, for how many rounds though? Not for like one maybe. To be honest, I like her. I don't even know the rest of the characters though. Remember a stacked focus though. What the fuck is focus? Oh, you require focus off this skill. And this. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Up oh, an artifact. What is the artifact? No, just that again. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. She has a tank also. To be honest, it's not half bad. 
God, it's kind of a hard choice, though. Because I actually really do like her. God, I only if they gave you one free selection of, like, every five, that would be nice. Or at least two or three. Three would have been nice. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> to be honest, I'll probably regret it if I do, if I don't take her. Probably. Nah, we're real. Go. Why not? Not the end of the world if I don't get anything good. Alright, thanks. There are artifacts. Why? Why so many artifacts? Another artifact. To be honest, I'm sticking with it. Time for, I'm not gonna reroll. So if I do get all three stars at the end of this, then yeah, I'm sticking with it. I'm gonna just climb from there. Oh my god, so many artifacts! The hell was that noise? What is the other effect? Oh, a chance to stun an enemy while attacking. That's actually not how bad. But it's only for mages. I was about to say, what the hell just happened? Alright, next. If I get Charlotte again, I'm actually just going to take her. Oh, four star? Who is it? Who is it? Look at this nerd. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, increases, well, decreases readness of enemy and increases your comeback read. So basically, he just kills anybody's evasion. Eh. Skippable, if anything. Next! Oh, it's another five star. Yes, it is. Who's it this time? Oh. If she's good, I'll take her. And greatly increases all. Oh, okay. That's not half bad at all. So region. Actually, I might take her. Oh, 
We got another. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, I'm taking her, to be honest. She's top tier. Huh. Best support, huh? Eh, why not? Even though we could have got something better. Too bad it doesn't tally up all of our stuff at the end of it. Which is unfortunate. summons Jesus I definitely like her skills they aren't half bad for a healer way better than the shitty healer I have that keeps asking me is she useful well she's not <laughs> wish she would stop asking me that oh, I wish I could have saw this around like summoning. That would have been nice seeing everybody's reviews. Oh, Shadow, did you add me? Oh no, I think that's somebody else. I think it was a high rate of her anyway. <laughs> oh, can you summon characters with uh, Crystal too? Your new connections. Or is that now to be at ten? Give me something good, boys. Ah, oh, darn. Alright, so I have a little bit more books still stuck on. To be honest, like I said, find two phones. Find two phones to make it easier for yourself. Because you're going to hate doing that over and over again ten times. Oh. Four star, what is it? Let it be one of the ones that I've gotten already. Because some of the ones I've gotten are pretty decent. Oh. Actually. Are healers ranged? No, I don't think so. Also, oh, holy grill again. For the grill of blood. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. I'll give you an unending nightmare. Okay. See it as an honor. I can't click anything. <laughs> Honestly, can't click anything anymore. Uh oh. Okay then. Is she good? I have no idea. Let's look at those skills. Absorbs HP of attacks. Okay, that's good for attacker. Dude, you better not drop. You better keep re-rolling, boy. Don't you dare go anywhere. Really? 
Rerolling is not that hard, sir. You better come back here. Oh yeah, they do need a skip for that. Are you talking about the um, actual summoning ones with the book flip? Yeah, they do need a skip for that. They definitely need that. So yeah, that was pretty much my summons and my luck that just went on there. It was just so, so random. I just kept rolling and rolling, taking chances. We got Destina and they told me that it was the top tier Killer in the game, and I was just like, oh, okay. But somebody else told me that there was a different healer that was way better than her in like different situations. But she's like a four star. But Destiny is way better just because of her stats. So I can I can see her being like really useful now and then. I think the character was stripping enemies of their buffs so yeah she's removing debuffs off you and she, and the other healer is pretty much taking off buffs so yeah they both have like different roles it really depends on which one you need i cannot remember the character's name for the life of me but <laughs> yeah we're also going to be doing summons this video too we're going to be seeing if we can get anything good then this is pretty much going to be my last yeah, this is pretty much going to be my last summons, depending on what I get. Because I need to replace these two, because they're replaceable. <laughs> uh, we did have another character that was actually going to replace Raz here. And it would be either this character, or where's that one? Where'd she go? Is she all the way down here? No, nah, she's not. That's the path. Oh, there she is. Pearl. We'll use one of them. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the summons. Oh yeah, there's something else I want to show new players. Uh, new players, make sure to click these events right here. I didn't even notice this until last night. That there were events that we needed to do. Like a certain amount of um, adventures, a certain amount of spirit altars, PvP, arena, stuff like that. I didn't even know these things existed. But make sure... Oh god, sorry. <laughs> Had a hiccup. Make sure to do hunts, stuff like that. You gotta do it a certain amount of time, so. Because the first, just doing it once doesn't count. I think I already have these rewards now. By default. Because I was not actually paying attention. Yeah, I got these rewards just sent straight to my mail. I didn't even do anything to come in here and collect it. But, I'm not sure how this works. Did this automatically already send it to me? Okay, no, I don't think so. How can I tell how many stamps? Oh, no, I don't have any stamps collected. How the hell would I get stamps collected? You make sure to do this too. Always make sure to get those attendants. I need to always remember that too, because I'll I'll definitely forget about this. It's it's not even a joke. <laughs> All right, there's another one with the whole uh, launch celebration thing going on, where you can get three characters for free, which they're actually pretty decent for what I see. Well, these two. I see it's pretty decent. This one, eh. Probably is a decent one too. Then once you're done with all those connections, you get these rewards. Which, this is kind of worth it for the XP. Alright, then we have another one down here. To where you just do these daily. 
and get like little mighty rewards out of it. And then there are stage cutscenes that you can go through. And this is where you should definitely be working for. Because once you're done with pretty much the map, you get skills. Yeah, you get skill ups, which will be really nice. But how long does this event last? Oh, you got like a whole month, guys. But make sure to do it before the month is up because those are rewards that are definitely worth it. But anywho, let's get into the summons and talk a little bit more about my you know, first impressions. I could go down here, but I'm going to stay up here. Since she's going to be here for quite a while, I might as well, you know, just do a summons, you know. We got 10 summons, but they don't let us do the whole 10 summon pool, unfortunately. But what else should I talk about? Arena. Arena is actually pretty interesting. Arena is kind of like, um, what was it? Summoner Wars in a way? When they had like that little AI you can fight too. I actually like that. Oh, you got an artifact? What is it? Uh, increase the counter. Oh. When using a skill that is not an attack. Well, I have a lot of attack characters. Well, actually, I could put that on um, Destina. What else I was talking about? Oh, yeah. Tower. Tower is actually really good. It has a lot of rewards. Oh, what? Who is this? Greetings. My name uh, is Crowright Royhill. Okay. Where's my luck going? <laughs> I need to know. Holy shit. Who is this guy? Causes bleed damage. Increases on the caster's speed. So I would want to build speed rune. Well, I was, oh god, I went to runes. Speed gear on him. Gotta remember that. Or defense gear. Speed and defense for him. Wait, the barrier is only for him? Increase the counts. Oh, okay. This guy should be really good now that I think about it. I like that. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, let's see if I still have any luck in there. It is actually really easy to get a 5 star in this game, apparently. I don't know what it is. To be honest... I noticed that with the whole, um, uh, what was it, selective summons, that it's actually pretty decent rate to actually get five stars. But that's just from the selective summons, though. Uh, who else? Oh, that could be really good on Destiny. Just because she heals automatically with that. Ooh, I'm definitely keeping that. That is definitely going to her. Uh, first impressions on the animations as well. They are really good. I like the whole anime slash, you know... Well, yeah, the whole anime slash attack animation where they just go into like this little anime style and then change to actual in-game attacks that that actually looks pretty nice i think that's the first time i've ever seen a game do that and that's actually pretty sick to be honest they can actually pull off an anime i could definitely see that and if they don't i'm gonna be really pissed about it because okay i've gotten this guy so many damn times can we can we stop giving him I mean, he does give two-turn bleed, though. And he is based off the enemy's lost HP. Okay, now, you know what? Maybe he's not all that bad, because he also cancels out buffs. Increase. Okay, never mind. I'm keeping him. I'll build him. <laughs> Change my, my mind there. But yeah, this overall, the game is actually pretty cool. I'll give it that. 
Now let's get back into the science. Oh, another one. I'll just as that. And also, I went into the game with no guides at all. Completely fresh. Did not know anything about the game. Just letting you guys know that now before anybody thinks I played it. The Korean version, I did not. I never touched the Korean version. For me? Also, I would love... Uh, I want to say this. I would love for a skip button for the selective summons. Or if it ever decides to come back and refresh itself for other players. If the, dev dev if the devs ever decide to do something like that. Which I doubt. But that would be fantastic. That's, that skip button would be fine. <laughs> it was tedious as hell summoning like so many of those. Alright, let's see. Chance to increase combat readiness by 15%. At the end of the enemy's turn. Okay, that's not that bad. I definitely like the artifacts in this game, like, jeez. Alright, that's all my summons. Dude, we have a lot of... Well, I can't even say luck because other people are going to have luck too. It is... Also, starting out in the game doesn't mean necessarily that you'll never get a 5 star. The chances are pretty decent to get another 5 star. All right, let me go ahead and throw these in because I have had like a lot of water penguins that I had nothing to use on and we need this. It's about time I got a water unit that I can actually just, you know, use now. So defense and speed. I don't think I have speed. I have HP. Uh, defense I'm going to have to farm for. So I need to figure out which hunt I need to go on. Oh yeah, it honestly doesn't matter what tier your year is as well. They'll still um, go together. Like you can see tier 2. I can put on this tier 1. Boom, they still connect. Just making sure you guys know that too. Ooh. Let's go ahead and throw that on too. Oh, another one. So I got a defense built there. HP, I don't know if I can actually do that. Oh, I can. So this is what we're gonna stick with for a while until I can get to speed builds. Because obviously I'm gonna be using his one more than likely. What does this do? What does the change do? Alright, summons the Guardian to attack, dealing damage partial to the lost HP. Piercing defense. So, I guess it goes through shields. This attack does not trigger a crit. Aw. Aw. That sucks. But anywho. Dealing, da yeah. dealing damage to a portion of HP he lost and penetrating also gains a barrier which is pretty much a shield to the caster for 10 turns with strength potential depending on the match HP to be honest HP build could be good for this too he has so many ways to build him you can build him defense you can build him HP you can build him speed I might lean down the road of Defense and HP at this point. Might. My team is so mismatched, it's insane. <laughs> now that I think about it. Huh? Oh, wait, hold up. Let me do this. Now the rest of the stuff, I gotta go farm. Right now it's on light, I believe. I mean, I could do tower and 
get something for him. But yeah, dude, it's been like a pretty interesting playthrough. But some of you guys have been wondering if I was playing FS7. Some of you guys have asked multiple times. <laughs> but yeah, I have. I definitely have. It's been, it's been fun. Uh, hold up. Swap you around. Then swap. Hold up. I was wondering if there's like a formation thing. The reason I keep Robbie as leader is just because the more you hit her, the more combat ready she gets. Where is it? It's also funny just because <laughs> Grill of Blood is so good on her. It's basically like a substitute for um for life steal, and two, you actually get your life steal runes. But then again, I'm not sure how high life steal runes go for like um absorbing. If anybody could let me know, that would be fantastic. But I like it on her, so I'm gonna keep it on her. As for you, I didn't know if, if like skill damage affected any of her skills, so I just put that on. Where is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? There it is. Okay, so it does go on you. Does it go in the? On anybody certain? Is it exclusive to anyone? What was the symbol for exclusive? Okay, yeah, there it is. So it's not exclusive. Which is good to know. Yeah, I need to go back into Labyrinth and Farm Gears again. That's what I've been doing as of late. You know, getting pieces here and there. I might go into Golem and something. Depending on what they have in there. Which I'm pretty sure Golem probably has like defense and HP? Or is it dragon? Not really sure right now. But we will definitely figure that out. Hmm. Not sure what I want to put on you, to be honest. Guess I'll just throw this on you. Have two people with it, keeping that team sustained for a little bit. I could just swap these guys. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just going to test it out and see which one's more effective. So I didn't know any of the characters either. So I didn't know if I was getting like a good selective role anyway. So that was also an issue. I just remembered I have to change my PvP team now that I do have this character. You do always want to get your characters to awaken 3 star, apparently, from pe what people tell me. Um, right now, the light and dark altars you shouldn't really worry about too much. It's because you don't get light and dark characters until you are on stage 10, done with 10. So, yeah, 10 10 is where you get dark and light units they are not in a selective summon just to let you guys know that because we had shadow in there <laughs> trying to get him as you can see 10 10 is where you get him just let, letting you guys know that now so you all don't spend too much time on that but yeah I know it's quite annoying to get artifacts especially five star artifacts when it comes to summoning for sure I definitely know your pain 
it's gonna be like that though because the artifacts outnumber the heroes and it will continue to outnumber them I'm pretty sure what is this one what am I missing here oh NPC battles oh another one popped up so yeah NPC battles are pretty much free battles uh, that adds on to your consecutive wins I believe there are a lot of players in the game right now so you're gonna have to you're gonna have a ways to go a lot of people to beat there are also bots in the arena which is actually pretty interesting so if you guys are having like a lot of trouble those bots can really get you out of like a sticky situation I'm not sure if they go on to the higher levels but I I'm doubting it to be honest I'm really doubting it for multiple reasons be careful the reason that I doubt it for multiple reasons is because in higher ranks, you don't, you don't want somebody to just to, just to mow right through you, we should and your score, off bots. Urgent meeting. I'll send you all away. Ah, yeah. Say no more. We're about to do that for sure. And I like that you can actually pick what you want to use to fight with. Oh, you got provoked. Or are we provoked? It doesn't say anything about provoked on here. What? Yeah, it doesn't say anything about provoke. But apparently we have provoke on this. Oh damn, okay. Um, Preparation complete. That was actually pretty decent. In the light's name. Prepare yourselves. Now isn't the time to hesitate. I want to see your three. Victory is right in front of us. Oh, that's sick. Too bad he ha he has missed damage. Yeah, he got missed damage on it, so it wasn't all that strong. And plus, it's based on a portion of her huh? HP missing. So yeah, it wasn't like all that flashy <laughs> inside of damage. But that is the sickest looking skill I've seen so far. Okay, now we're at actual players. So the first list is pretty much bots. Then it works you up here. Okay, noted. If you guys are wondering my uh, favorite waifus, you know, this is what you guys call them. I might as well call them that too. Favorite ones right now? Whenever I get into my journal, thank you. Oh yeah, this game also has problems with me starting up as well. Like it, it, it takes me like three different tries or four or five times to, you know, get into the game because it always freezes at the start of it which is really annoying i think she is yeah yeah luna luna's one of them she is probably my three for sure mm. definitely my three uh my two where is she she's in here somewhere I guess she's in here. What? Where are you at, girl? Oh, yeah. First, I got Charlotte and this guy. Those are my first two pools that you guys saw. Ah, there she is. It's probably my second. She just looks so cool with the scythe, though. That's more of cool. Haste is also pretty, pretty sick too. Just those two are like my top two. My one. Is yeah. 
this is probably my best one. My best waifu. Love her so much just because of her design. And I can only get her around stage 6. Which I am in stage 3. So, yeah. I'll definitely be using her though. <laughs> just because I love her so much. I just noticed you can actually preview their um, skills soon. So they're not available right now, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is still in work in progress. But yeah, it'll get there sooner or later. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want to add me, if I ever have room, it's just Wolf. I mean, you'll know because my greeting is uh, Wolf Knows No Bounds, which for some reason is um, an offensive word because I have snob in the name <laughs> around uh, Knows No Bound. Hold up. I'm going to show you guys. It's actually pretty funny. Um, friends. Here it is. I had to put a zero here because snob <laughs> snob is on the offensive list guys just just letting you know but if you're wondering this is a this is this is an o it's meant to be an o oh my god that was actually funny that has that had me like dying laughing oh yeah we also have duck flip here which is um uh, raz which i i i chose duck flip for him <laughs> He got some really good, really, well, he actually got the same characters that I got. So, I sent some of my luck his way, and he got it. <laughs> That's what's up, dude. Just passing my luck on to everyone. But, yeah, I was spending a lot of time inside of a Twitch chat. Also, I do need to say this, because some people don't know this when it comes to Twitch. You can get in a lot of trouble for streaming on the wrong, like, um, game name. There are two Epic Seven. One of them is the puzzle one, which is Epic Seven with the number. And one of them is Epic Seven that is spelled out with, se well, yeah, with seven spelled out. Epic Seven with the seven spelled out is the correct one. Epic 7 with the number 7 is the wrong one because that is an extremely old game and you can get in a lot of trouble for streaming under the wrong game. And I've seen a lot of people streaming under that game. It was kind of worrisome because I know a lot of people who've gotten in trouble under streaming on the wrong one. Especially if the names are similar, you can still get in a lot of trouble for it. Because a lot of Twitch members notice... Well, yeah, a lot of Twitch members know which game is which so just letting anybody who watched this video if you're a streamer you might want to change over because i know it wouldn't be your fault because there are two epic sevens so yeah the devs really need to make that clear it's out of their discords and pretty much everywhere of how of which one is which it's pretty much obvious. It's the one that says action and simulation. Versus the one that says puzzle. <laughs> I'm just saying. For some reason, most people chose the puzzle. I guess they see this game as a puzzle. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose